When Leslie Anderson was 18, she lost her mother to breast cancer. Years later, her sister was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. It left Leslie wondering whether all the women in her family were susceptible. That was just an absolute sign that we all needed to be tested. It meant playing cancer detective, something that wasn't an option when her mom was diagnosed. She passed in 1980. And the BRCA gene wasn't identified until 90, and the testing really wasn't even available until the late 90s. We do a family tree and determine whether they meet criteria for genetic testing. Marianne Orlang is a genetic counselor who facilitates testing at the Regional Cancer Center. And what about the blood test? Does somebody draw, do a blood draw yes. here? Yes. Um, this one, they actually have to do it in front of me because it is DNA testing. It just tells me uh, authenticate that it is their DNA. The most frequent test looks for BRCA, also known as the breast cancer gene. The BRCA analysis determines a woman's risk for um, genetically um, linked breast cancer or hereditary breast cancer. Um, not only breast cancer, but also ovarian cancer. From this location, they provide counseling and gene testing for a variety of cancers, not just breast. Other forms include gynecological, gastrointestinal, endocrine, and melanoma skin cancer. Results help patients assess their risk. Knowing your risk gives you the power to do something about it. Leslie and two of her three sisters tested positive for BRCA1. She underwent a double mastectomy and had her ovaries removed to greatly cut her cancer risk. It's just amazing how they can come up with this information and break down on, you know, on a DNA genetic level to find out what you're at a risk for. Looking into their genes may give people a chance to break a family tradition. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.